how do you build a bot to automate liking on an Instagram feed? That was the challenge the customer emailed me. Let me show you how I did that without using any code. I'm Alex, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. So I've already got my starting point set up. I've got a tab open with the Instagram feed page. Now I need to start building my bot. So I open Axiom. I've already clicked onto the create new. I'm going to start from blank. I'm going to go into, into the interact step because that's the step that has all the features to automate the UI. I'm going to pass the URL to the go to page. So the first part of the bot is set up and that bot's going to open up the Instagram feed. Next, all I need to do is add a click onto the first post, on the first like on the post. And you guessed it, we've got a special step for doing this. Look for social media. And so we've got a social media button. It basically clicks likes, but it detects if it's liked already and then doesn't click it if it is. So it doesn't unlike anything unless you reverse the logic. Okay. I'm going to select the first like. That's all set up. So now I've got the bot set up to go to the feed page, like the first post. Now, I don't just want to do it on the first post because I want to do it on the subsequent posters, posts. Because like many of you, I've got my own social media, uh, my own um, Instagram account, my personal one. And I've wasted hours doing this manually. So I'm going to just going to scroll down to the second post. And I'm going to add some more social media click buttons. In fact, I'm going to do this five times. So that's four more steps. I just need to make sure I select the right post. So the second one. Third. Fourth. And of course, let's not forget the fifth. Now I'm just going to check the selector on the fifth by clicking that and just it should say fifth child. So it says the fourth. So I'm just going to select the next one because I made a little mistake there. Or I think the scroll may have loaded one element out and just change the order a little bit. Yeah, I think one loads out. So what we need to do is very quickly removes an item from the page so it keeps getting the fourth. So now I'm just going to edit this and put in the fifth. So that just chat says it's the fifth child, i.e. the fifth um the fifth um post. Okay, so that's done. So we've got all the, the likes and that should be the bot set up. It's going to go to the page, click on the likes. Let's um give it a run. So that just took moments um and all done with no code. Now let's sit back and enjoy the bot doing the liking for us. Okay, what's happening? So we've got a pop-up I didn't get on um, in my browser. And I can see the page scrolling, but no liking. So this is causing an issue. Now I want to do some debugging. So and see what's happening in that runner. So I'm just going to add a wait to keep the page open so I can actually interact with it a little. Give me enough time, that'll be like 10 seconds. Now I'm gonna click run. Now I'm gonna click into Cloud Runner. Now my experience with pop-ups like this is you best to interact with, with interact with them with key presses not the select element. So I'm going to use a tab and see if I can get to not now. There we go. I can tab twice to get there and uh, enter will close it. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to click stop. Go back to the bot editor. I'm going to reduce that weight down to five seconds just to allow the final click to happen. But also in 1.1, I'm going to add some key presses to replicate the action I just showed you in the cloud. I'm going to record tab tab 
turn. That should close the um, pop-up and allow the bot to do the magic. Okay, and let's have a look. Does the pop-up go? It has. Now there's the bot doing the magic, first like. Awesome. So that's the auto follower built. You can of course add more um stop uh sorry click steps in to the social click steps in to automate more um likes in, in the feed. But what I've also noticed if you just rerun the bot, so you could just loop it, new images are loaded in, so it's probably quicker than rather adding more steps, you can just loop the bot. Anyway, have good fun, have some fun, enjoy building bots. Um, Axiom can be used to automate many more things on Instagram. Don't go too crazy though, don't spam. I wouldn't recommend using Axiom for posting hundreds of thousands of messages on Instagram. But for automating every task, everyday tasks in Instagram or managing multiple accounts, it's a good tool. Thank you. Oh, one last thing. If you could like the video or press subscribe, that would be great. Bye-bye.